Let's take a look at how Sonar 6 integrates software synthesizers. Right now, I have the synth rack open with a variety of synthesizers. If you want to audition your sounds or a particular synth, you just select the synth on the synth rack. Right now, we're playing Zeta. If I wanted to get to the, uh, the, the user interface or the properties page, I can just double click on the icon. Let's say you want to go down to Dimension Pro. I'm going to play a little riff here. You want to play Rapture. So basically you just scroll down and you can play any synth you want. So they keep coming. RXP. This is our Rex file player. And we looked at Session Drummer in another video, but I'll go ahead and open that up again. Um, and we forgot to take a look at Sign and Pentagon as well. And uh, last but not least, it's always nice to have a base ready to go in your project. So this is the template I use uh, a lot to start a particular song. Now, let's take a look at some of the things you can do with the synth. But let's, let's say we wanted to add in another synth. There's a couple ways you can do that. Um, just simply click on the plus sign there and you get a list of all your virtual synths. And you know, let's say I wanted to call up, um, you know, another instance of Rapture, for example. So it loads in the properties. I can go to all the different sounds in Rapture. So we'll close out of there. Another way to add synths in a project <coughs> is to go over to your insert from a track template. So this is where you can have a preset already made with the, with the particular synth and whatever patch you have loaded into it. And that would also store all your effects that you might have assigned to a particular virtual instrument. So it's so powerful to be able to go from synth to synth very quickly. OK, so now and then you want to have some of your most popular controls ready to go when you're working with your virtual synths. Well, the synth rack allows you to do such a thing. Uh, first of all, let's show the assignable controls. And as you notice, there's nothing there right now. But let's say, for example, I want to assign you know, the gain of this EQ, um, the wet and dry parameter, and, um, you know, the volume for element one. Might as well do all the volumes here for the elements. So I just simply move them and disengage this learn control. Now this tells me that six parameters were touched during the learn, and uh, this is how you assign the controls, so they're instantly accessible. Um, so that's a very powerful feature when you're doing all sorts of automation and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about opening the synth anymore. And if you don't want to look at it, you can just tuck it away. Um, another powerful feature, one of the, the big features of uh, Sonar 6 is our new ACT, uh, Active Controller Technology. We call it ACT for short. And what that allows you to do is to use virtually any keyboard controller and use that to control all your various plugins and instruments. And it basically works like this. Uh, it's based off of having eight rotary controls and eight sliders, and then there's multiple banks. So what we're looking at right now is the ACT uh, MIDI controller, and I, there's all sorts of presets here. So um, out of the box, it, you get the, the, the support of supported control surfaces are the ones listed here. 
Um, and then you can, you can map anything. Um, you can create your own mappings as well. But essentially how it works is whenever I click on a particular synth, now all my sliders become, and rotary knobs, become the editor for that synth. So let's say we're going to go over to Rapture. Um, see all these parameters are, are accessible. Actually, let's, let's open this up. Now we have, see I have all my rotary controls here. And I can change whatever I want. I can remap it if I so desire. And then same with the effects. Let's say I wanted to go over here and adjust my, uh, you know, the delay setting of the reverb. I can just easily go to any knob and um, vary the parameter. So it, all sorts of great things. Now let's say I wanted to map my own uh, particular desired slider to a parameter. Well, I just go to the Act Learn. And I'll choose, um, let's say I want to make slider 2. Instead of the delay there, I'll make it be the mix. I have Learn enabled right up here. And Change Mix. And disengage the Learn. And it tells me that one parameter and one control was touched. So now that becomes the mix uh, slider. So what it means is you can totally customize how you want your controller to control a plugin. So if you load up a compressor, um, a certain knob can always be the ratio or the threshold or the gain. So it's, ve it's very powerful. Um, OK, what I'd like to demonstrate to you now is how you would automate a parameter on a virtual synth. So let's go ahead and record something in. I'll just play a few chords here. So um, let's back that up and we'll open the Pentagon properties page. And what I'll do now is select right. And now when I hit play, I can move any parameter within Pentagon. And that'll get righted as automation onto the Pentagon audio track, which is right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now what we're looking at is, is all the automation data. And we'll go ahead and zoom into that. It's kind of hard to see. I'll just keep it back there. Let's talk about how you layer synths with the synth rack and sonar. Right now I'm playing the Pentagon. Let's say I want to layer the sign pad sound I have already with that. Just control click on the input monitoring button. Now I have those two since layered together. Let's add a third one to that. Let me close my view there. Let me go back to my Batman score sound. That might sound good in there. So I add that to the, the synth rack. You can see that it inserted down there. And I'll control click on the input monitoring button. And now I have all three of these. layered together. So let's recap the synth rack. You can have any number of synths you want in the synth rack. You can easily scroll through them with your arrow key. You can create your own customized controls. 
You can mute and solo from the synth rack. You can actually read and write automation from the synth rack itself, or as I showed you earlier, from any properties page on the synth rack. And of course, you can layer any number of sounds together. You can insert your synths from or rewire devices. Any rewire device acts like a, a virtual synth in itself. And you can also insert your favorite patches that you make. We call them track templates, or, or you could just call them regular presets. So the features such as the synth rack and ACT are the reasons why more and more composers are starting to turn to Sonar 6 for their compositions.